I used to go to the Nathans around the corner from my house, and I used to hang out there. And I always sucked at the claw machines, and I never got anything out of them, and I never was able to win anything, so I was really pessimistic about using them, and I always thought it was pointless. But this one time, my friend Alana decided she was going to egg me on and get me to do it. So she kept telling me that I couldn't do it and blah, blah, blah. So then I wanted to prove her wrong. And I put in, I think it was like 50 cents or something. And this cat was sitting like kind of on top. So uh, my favorite animal is cat. So obviously I went for this one. And I actually got him. And then I, when I got him out of the machine, I said... I'm going to name this cat Lucky because I'm lucky to even got, have gotten him because I usually never win. I had met my old best friend at the feast that's right around the corner from my house every June. And I usually try and win some stuffed animals, but I mean, lately I haven't been really trying to because I have like an overage of stuffed animals that I have no idea what to even do with because I have no room for them. So I wasn't trying to win anything, and then my old best friend and her mom were playing the water shooting game where you shoot the gun at the little target. So um, they were playing, and her mom ended up winning. So her mom got the tiger, and she gave it to me because my, best, my old best friend didn't want it. So I just kind of took it, and... That was that. It was kind of a really awkward moment because I haven't really spoken to them in years. So the fact that they gave me a stuffed animal is kind of strange. This is Boo Boo Kitty. And she was my first ever stuffed animal. I actually have pictures of me as a newborn with this cat. And uh, over the years she's had some accidents with soda being spilled on her and getting stained she's got a rip in her paw and um the reason why I keep her is because it's it's just a memory that I wish I had like I wish I rem I could remember the moment when I got her because she's been with me for 21 years and I it's just a special connection that I have with her so I don't want to give her away or throw her away. This one says her name is Miss Snow because she's a T.Y. Beanie Baby, but I actually renamed her Powder Puff. And um, she was a gift from my best friend a few years back for Christmas. And I got her along with um, a couple of other knickknacks and whatever. It was the first stuffed animal that I had gotten from my best friend that I actually liked. And I keep her on my bed now because she reminds me of my best friend, and we don't really talk as much as we used to, so I kind of like to have reminders on my bed of um, people that I used to know, or like around my bed, I have a bunch of things that remind me of other people, so she was, um, she was pretty special to me. She still is. My grandma got her for me um, when we were in a Hallmark store by my house. Um... I was probably in elementary school still, and, um, I got her because I saw her, and she was on sale, so I had my grandma get her for me because I liked the fact that she was bigger than all the other Beanie Babies that I had, and maybe she could be their mommy, so that was my theory with that, and, um, I used to pet her, like, actually sit there and just pet her because she's really soft, so it was really, like, it was kind of like my fake pet even though I already had some. This one's name is Carnation, and I actually like that name because, obviously, she's pink. So, I kept her name as Carnation, but um, I got her with um, another peony baby from my best friend in elementary school. And we used to play with our beanie babies at recess in elementary school, so... This was like my main, my main cat when it came to, it was like basically like a soap opera with cats. Like that's all, that's the only way I can describe it. And um, she was like the main character in everything that we did. And it was a lot of fun back then. And um, 
she was a couple with this other cat named Kuki, who I got with her, and both of them are on my bed right now because they were just really prominent in my life for at least a year or two while we were still in elementary school and still playing with our Beanie Babies at, at recess, so. So this one's real name is Beanie, but I think that's a silly name for a cat, so I decided to rename her Smokey because when I got her, I had a cat named Smokey who looked exactly like her. She was all gray, she was long hair, and she looked exactly like this Beanie Baby, so I named her Smokey and then I kept her on my bed as my reminder of Smokey because Smokey passed away, I think in 2005. Um, we don't know why she passed away, but just one day she was really sick and then the next day she was gone. So I keep this stuffed animal on my bed to kind of remind me of her and kind of memorialize her because we lost her so suddenly and it was really hard. This one's name is Demented Bear. And the reason why its name is Demented Bear is because um, the legs on this bear don't allow for it to really have a crotch. So I, um, I just named it that because it looks like it's a bear on stilts. It just doesn't look natural to me. So when my boyfriend brought this home for, for me from his senior trip in high school, I laughed at it at first and he kind of got offended because he won it for me. But... I just, I couldn't leave it alone, so now I just look at it and I laugh. This is Mickey, and the reason his name is Mickey is because he kind of looks like Mickey Mouse fused with a dog. And when my boyfriend first gave him to me, he gave um, me him with the demented bear. So I kind of sort of thought they were the demented duo and they together they're kind of special to me because they reminded me of that moment when he he presented them to me and I was like what are these I couldn't tell if Mickey was a mouse or a bear and I couldn't tell if the bear was normal looking or what so it, it was kind of a funny moment and I kind of just like to remember it by looking at the two of them together. So wherever they go, they stay together because I got them together and they just, in my mind, they just go together. I like him because my best friend got him for me when I was obsessed with collecting all the T.Y. Kitty Beanie Babies. Of course, I never did it, but I came pretty close. Um, she gave this to me... I was probably, it was probably my last year of high school that she gave this to me. And I really liked it because it reminded me of one of my other cats. And I still keep it on my bed and just basically I like this one because it reminds me of times when I used to be able to collect stuffed animals without worrying about where to put them or whatever. And now I can't, I can't even think about all the space that I'd have to take up to try and collect all the ones that I want. So it's kind of a, a lost hobby until I have somewhere to put them. So when I was two years old, we took in a cat named Patsy and she was pregnant at the time and we didn't know. So she ended up having three kittens and one of them, well, I named all of them. But the one that I had bonded the most with was named Buttons. And unfortunately, she passed away at only eight years old, which is really young for a cat. And I was in elementary school when she passed away. So I had gotten this stuffed animal just about probably two or three weeks after she passed away. And it looked just like her. So I remember calling it Buttons and I never stopped sleeping with it. I still sleep with it on my bed. So... It's really special to me because to me it represents everything that I've ever lost anyone who's ever passed away. So all of the animals that I've had and uh, my great grandparents and whoever else has passed away, that's what she represents to me.